to Massage Warehouse Muscle Whisperer uh, video series. Thank you for joining me. In this particular video, we are going to talk about um, how, how to determine your client's movement behavior using some uh, foundational techniques like rocking, shaking, distraction, just getting a feel of where that tension is and moving up the chain to be able to determine uh, the beginning point, the end point. Uh, yeah, I have more of this in Massage Mondays, but this will get you started. Enjoy, speak soon. So Rachel in the interview did indicate that her priority was her back and the discomfort that she gets on a regular basis due to um, a traffic accident actually that happened many years when she was around 17 years old. So my initial uh, assessment is to really to try and figure out how her body moves. And even though I am doing it in a prone position, I can actually tell a lot from the movement pattern when I do some rocking. So for instance, I'm just moving her like this across and just kind of, you can get it, you can feel it if you're not, um, you know, if you're not attuned to what's going on in your hands, you can actually move this other hand and follow along. Myself, I can see and I can feel that she has got a weakness right about in here. Uh, so it's, it's partially up and this tells me this is not engaged as well as it should be. I'm also feeling when I do um, touch, I'm also feeling that there is a rotation in the hip. So in other words, when I press down into this hip, I can actually sink uh, fairly well, but when I come into here, I can actually feel that this comes into my hand quicker. There's a lot more uh, muscle mass here. So I'm thinking that she's got a slight pelvic rotation as well as maybe what we would consider uh, an interior tilt. But, you know, the, the thing I'm looking for is restrictions and how movement is uh, held back from one area to another. So I'm considering the global effect. I'm not isolating, that's a weak point. I'm going, okay, what's the pattern? And then I put it in my diagram. I work, okay, this one here comes up into my hand more. It's fuller, the tissue. This one I can sink in. When I rock her, I can feel that there's a point of, of uh, uh, movement here, more so than the rest. Her, if you're looking at her pattern, you can see that there's a bit more kyphosis here rather than up higher in the thoracic. There's actually a fair amount of flatness in through this portion of her back. Um, so if I was to um, take uh, a little bit more of a visual, I can, yes, this confirms what it is I was kind of feeling through the towel. Um, and I've got here on the, the left side, I've got uh, a bit more engagement, but this, the, the protrusion of the scapula sits up higher than when I'm feeling across in her right. There's more space in her right, uh, but there's a more crowding. When I come up to the top portion of her shoulder, this feels more crowded, like it's elevated. So if I was walking over, you know, taking my hand over to the other side, I'm kind of feeling that there's a different emplacement. So I could go here like this, and that is definitely more engaged in here. So, um, so you know, there is kind of like maybe I've got something that I need to kind of rebalance this. So there is issues from here to here, and maybe there's an issue um, mid-thoracic, so there's maybe a bit more um, uh, lack of movement on this side of the spine versus this side of the spine. So you're looking in comparisons. Now I'm not trying to make a diagnosis at this point. All I'm trying to do is draw the picture. So where are the elevations? Where are the tensions? Where are the muscle build? And then kind of go, well, what do I want to have happen here in order for the, the back to have more spiral movements and have more space 
space and have a relaxed space here. What do, is it that I actually want to have happen? So I might then go into somewhere like this that has too much um, engagement to it. So I might start off with maybe some transverse uh, movements across the erecti spinae and just nice sinking, uh, engaging and pushing. So I'm not, I'm not rushing things. I'm using all my other principles, which is to melt, sink, engage, then move according to what the tissue is going to let me do. So then I might come up here and I might sit on here and just kind of lift and see what kind of reaction I get from the tissue. Don't rush it. You don't have to rush. You have got a conversation going on with the tissue and this is the most important thing is that you actually respond to what's going underneath your hands. I think one of the main things that, um, you know, people are taught to do things to other people. So rather than responding and going, okay, you tell me what you want me to do, this doesn't happen enough. Yes, we're going to do something to someone, but it needs to be led by the person that you're working with rather than you dictating from your mental understanding of what's going on saying, Hold on a minute here. If that tight shoulder is there, then I must have this. I must go there, I must do that. Don't try to outguess things. Try to just sit with it and uh, kind of respond to what you're feeling. They will lead you as to where you need to go. Yes, there is experience behind this. And yes, there is some uh, stuff that you learn in school that will teach you how to put the pieces together but rely more on what these guys are doing, your hands, because they are smarter than your intellect and what your eyes are seeing. They actually see much, much more. So the two of them need to talk to each other. It shouldn't come from here, from head down to patient. It should come from hand up to head having a conversation. And if you can kind of get that gist of movement to how information flows, you'll be able to kind of get a sense more accurately of what's going on with your client. So have a play, close your eyes, feel around, and uh, see if you can actually see more with your hands and then uh, with uh, your smartness here. This is smarter, okay. Thank you for joining me. Now, if you have any comments, please do leave them below. I might not get the right away, but uh, certainly we'll get to, to them as soon as possible. If you liked it, please do indicate that you did. And if you wanna share it, I welcome you to do so. Otherwise, I hope to see you in other bits. And until then, 